The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate, welcome to the third game in my 12 ga games of Christmas list. It is Oxygen Included. Oxygen Included has been out for about three years. It first went early access and I've actually been playing it for the whole three years. It's actually the first videos that went up on the channel. I strongly recommend you don't go back and watch them. They were horrible. Anyway, with all that said, um, it's on my list for a couple of reasons. One, let's let's get through the nitty and gritty. It is $25. There is a epic link. Uh, I... There is a link, and let's try that third time. There is an affiliate link down in the description for the Epic Store to grab it on Epic. Um, there is also, it is also available on Steam, but you know, you can find the Steam link yourself. I'm not going to be that generous. Um, the affiliate link obviously does help out the channel. So, uh, with that said, there is a DLC due out tomorrow. Now, the DLC I already know is $15. I already have had early access to it. And, um... Yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say about it. It's a DLC that's going into early access, which is a first for me. Um, I've never seen a DLC go into early access. I've seen a DLC come out and it's been fully released and then maybe it's had some bug patches, compatibility patches, that sort of stuff as time has gone on. But I've never seen a DLC go into early access. So I'll leave the DLC choice up to you. I'll probably end up grabbing it. I'll probably end up putting some videos up on the channel. But I'm not 100% sure about it uh, at this time. So, as I said, Oxygen included $25. DLC, $15. Um, I can't get, give you a link to the DLC because obviously it's not released yet. It comes out tomorrow. As for Oxygen included itself, the actual game... It's a game of crisis. Uh, that's pretty much how I'd sum it up. Uh, everything is about to go wrong or is going wrong and you may not realize it. Um, the basic premise of the game is that we start a brand new game. Uh, you have multiple asteroids for you to choose from of different, different difficulty levels. Um, this is the default one, the lovely one we start off on. And you have three little duplicates, which you do get to choose some stats with and customize them a little bit. Uh, along with give them names, normally names of patrons, so therefore you can yell and scream at the patrons and possibly kill them off one at a time. But yeah, you have three little duplicates that accidentally step through a teleporter into the middle of an asteroid, and it's your job as their grand overseer to try and keep them alive. Um, you can... Each duplicate, as I said, does have certain stats, and i got to say, with this particular game, the artwork is one of the things that really, really makes it. You're going to spend a lot of time in your first couple of playthroughs dying and watching your dupes do things because watching them do things is actually actually hours and hours worth of entertainment so between facial expressions um tantrums uh sitting on the floor and crying because they're out of, absolutely depressed or stressed out yeah uh, or vomiting vomiting is another stress response anyway i'm um, going through some really really basic things you know they have some interests what they're interested in and obviously you know uh, like a roleplay game, you know, what they have accelerated stats in, uh, along with some specific traits, uh, both a positive, at least a positive, and at least a negative. Um, sometimes you'll be lucky and get two positives. Sometimes you're going to be unlucky and get a couple of negatives. Uh, let's go for a dedicated digger. And if we're lucky and we reroll a few times, we get someone who's really strong at digging. Um, we'll have a dedicated builder. That'll do. And a dedicated science person. This is just a... A little quick run through of the game. There we go. Like, you know, this person's uncultured, so they increase decor morale bonus, but they can't do decor items. They have a small bladder, so they pee a lot. This guy's immune to food poisoning, but has a re uh, allergic reaction to floral scents. And then finally, we have our third duplicate who has increased medical skill, but they can't cook. Uh, and on top of that, like, Malira over here has a stress reaction of being a binge eater. That's handy. Uh, and when they are overjoyed, so if you if you get their stats really, really high, they will go around and leave a trail of sparkles wherever they run. Um, over here we have Ellie who has the trait of a sticker bomber. She will go and put stickers over everything if she gets, uh, well, if you, you bring her stats up high enough. So with all that said, we're going to embark. We're going to go through 
just the basics of how this game works. In case you haven't seen it before, in case you want a little refresher, um, as I said, there are 10 series of Ox should not include it on the channel. Um, but yeah, your premise is you're starting with a little printing pod, your three lovely duplic duplicates, a few rations to get you through, like that's what, four days worth, four days worth of food, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that, and they have a magical, magical little gun that we're going to use right about now to dig, to pick up items, to do all sorts of things. And that's pretty much all you start with. From there, you need to hopefully find some way to keep your lovely duplicates alive. You know, they're going to need access to fresh water. They're obviously going to need access to oxygen, hence the uh, title of the game, Oxygen Not Included. We do have some starting oxalite here, which will slowly uh, burn off and turn into real oxygen that we can breathe. Uh, and, um, yeah, we're going to need some basics for our duplicates, like, you know, toilets. And some ladders, so they can get down to the toilets. And on top of that, there are some critters, like that one just pooped out some coal behind all that rubble. Come on, everybody move, out of the way. Nope, Hatch is going back underground. Hatches tend to live underground during the day, and they and they move around at night. Yeah, I think that's the rule. I can't remember. Um, if you, I normally just put them into a ranch and then you know turn them into barbecue. Uh, Lyra's going to get yeah. Lyra just fell. Ellie just fell. Yeah. So basic premise of this game is you know you try and keep your duplicates alive, preferably as for as long as possible, uh, and make sure they don't die off. You know, give them some basics like some toilets. Give them some more basics like a bed to sleep in. Uh, get them... Where are we? Stations? I haven't found any copper yet. Hey, there's my copper. All the way over there. Uh, come on, dig faster, people. Uh, don't do the top top. It's quicker. So yeah, give them some basics like some toilets, some outhouses, you know, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere to take care of business and things, uh, and yeah, keep them digging, keep them salvaging new materials, and make them build a little colony that will hopefully keep them alive from today till tomorrow. On top of that, as you can see, we have these little, more little different types of critters. These are shine bugs, they are basically flying light bulbs, really, really handy for keeping the lights on for certain plants and certain things, really, really bad for some of your duplicates, because some of your duplicates don't like sleeping with the lights on. Uh, it turns out with the new DLC, some of your duplicates are so afraid of the dark that they need to sleep with the lights on. A whole different challenge. And as we can see, Lyra is over here already without oxygen. Yeah, there's no oxygen down here. Uh, and who's that? Ellie. Ellie is working in a pit of carbon dioxide because reasons, reasons. I take care of my duplicates well. Uh, with some copper, we can now get a research station, which will jump right, dump right there. We get a little manual generator, a battery, and some wire. Hook all that up together, and then hopefully we can get some research done. But yeah, this is the the basic introduction to the game. It is. It starts off fairly simple. You're going to end up dying at least once, twice, three times. Oh, it's lunchtime. Oh, we need to watch lunch. Ellie sits on the ladder. Hassan sits on the, on the dirt. Uh, Lyra decides not to eat. Okay, Lyra, you're horrible. And look, Hassan... Oh, I missed it. And there's our little hatch. Our little... Can we bring up a picture of him? Yeah. All teeth. All teeth. Uh, yeah, they eat anything off the floor and poop out coal for reasons. Uh, let's just skip through the night. Unfortunately, he's not going to move anywhere where we can actually get a decent view of him, is he? Oh, oh, there we go. Get back here. Out from behind that. See? All teeth. All teeth. Like I said, this game is... Definitely has... Um, definitely... You're going to either love the artwork or hate the artwork. And then, yeah, he digs back under, underground at daytime. Asan, Lyra, and Ella, Elsie, whichever, are uh, cleaning their beds afterwards because uh, they're dirty, dirty, dirty duplicates and have spread germs everywhere because I haven't given them any wash basins. Uh, that's probably the first way your duplicates will die when you play the game for the first time. Uh, second way is probably lack of oxygen. Third way is probably heat death. Uh... Yeah, it, it's a game that's going to take a little bit of practice and a little bit of time playing to, you know, get you through the basics. But yeah, um, 
it's an interesting game, hence why it's on my 12 games of Christmas. Uh, I just want to get research up and running so I can bring up the tech tree and we can sort of explain a little bit more of the depth of the game. So, once we open up research, we can see there is one hell of a tech tree. It has a lot of little bits in it, uh, ranging from the mundane, like, uh, mundane, like, you know, a planter box. So we can plant some plants, so we can harvest some plants, so we can eat some plants. Uh, well, at least the fruit off the plants. Or, actually, the lice off the fruit off the plants, technically. Um, there's also the mess table, you know, so we've got somewhere to sit to eat. Um, other basics, like, you know the water cooler so everybody can stand around during their lunch break and stand around the water cooler and have some chit chat uh we also have other really really simple things like the lavatory because everybody needs somewhere to go uh, it's a one step up from the outhouse where you just like drop it into a hole in the ground and then somebody later has got to get down there and dig it all out and you know compost it in some way shape or form yeah yeah there, there, there's a there's a few clean and a few gross parts in this particular game um you know we've got simple simple complex things like HVAC systems uh, we also have you know exosuits no it's not a one of the guys from among us it's 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 an exosuit it's something that they can pop themselves into so they don't die when you expose them to space lava molten metals uh oh freezing temperatures yeah yeah um that sort of stuff uh and then finally all the way down the bottom we actually have a rocketry system because that is also part of the game try to build a rocket to get yourself off the planet uh off the planet and hopefully finish the game by making your making your way through the temporal tear um that's about all the information i'm going to give you about the game because i don't want to ruin the storyline but yeah, this is this is the base game. Uh, we're actually going to turn on debug mode, so we can just give you an idea of what the map looks like. Uh, that's us in the middle. That is a standard map uh, with lots of different biomes for you to explore and exploit, uh, along with a whole oil oil biome down here that you're going to need to refine to turn into plastic, natural gas, uh, rockets which are going to require liquid liquid. Well, they're going to require petroleum and solid oxygen and then eventually later on they're going to require liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen oxygen which means you need to make both those materials and of course you need to come up to the space platform or to the space biome to drop your rockets down to launch them off to space so this is the very very basics of the early early game in saying that uh, i do want to pre briefly cover what i can of the dlc because as I said, it does actually come out tomorrow so it should be coming Coming out on both Steam and Epic, I believe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's the day after. It's it's really weird with time zones um, because they've said when it's coming out, but they haven't said what time zone it's coming out in. So, yeah. And now we have the oxygen not included DLC. Now, as I said, this is still a alpha build of the DLC, so I'm not actually sure what's in the final DLC. And Clay, the developers, have been fairly tight-lipped as to the circumstances around the DLC because the DLC is changes the early game an awful lot and is missing a lot of end game elements so yeah I, we, nobody's entirely sure what the story is with any of that but it has added a whole new list of end game elements so it's you know we're assuming they've just been the the old ones have just been limited and removed during the alpha period so people could bug test what we have well all the new content rather than worry about the old content in the new dlc i guess that sort of makes sense yeah um so yeah this is oxygen included spaced out dlc it, like i said it's normally alpha version um we are expecting the full release to come out probably tomorrow or the day after depending on time zones and everything else maybe it's out by the time you're watching this video uh at the same time like i said i am planning on grabbing a copy it does the, mean that my frosticle series is probably done and dusted um uh, i do know that the fifth episode just went out to the supporters of the channel um in the disco in in the discord backer area so they're hopefully enjoying that currently and maybe it'll make it to the channel maybe it won't um i had recorded and edited five episodes but i haven't i don't think i've edited anything past that and i don't think i've recorded anything past that um but yeah i do want to look at one of one of the new dlc bases to sort of show you some of the differences 
So as I said, when it came to Oxygen Not Included, it is really a game of crisis. Um, it is a game of everything is about to go wrong or has gone wrong or will go wrong very, very shortly. Um, the DLC has dramatically changed things. Rather than having one big map that you need to take care of, you now have at least six tiny maps that you need to take care of. Uh, let's try and find out. Hey, this is the one we started on. Um, I'm going to go into debug mode so we can... Uh, sort of get an appreciation of the map size difference. This is what the map now looks like. So it's a much smaller map, but in saying that you do have, where are we? Nope, that's a warp pipe output. That's lets you transport materials from planet to planet. Uh, somewhere here, uh, down here, it's a teleporter transmitter. Can I get one of your dupes to come down and... Nope, it's still recharging. So, uh, we can send a duplicate through the transmitter and that'll instantly move a duplicate from planet to planet. Um, on top of that, there is a whole rocketry system, which it looks like I haven't built on this planet. Uh, hey, there's a rocket pad. So, we can use the teleporter to teleport duplicates off to this planet, which we can then, you know, do things on this planet. Uh, actually, if we... Nope, you're also recharging. Uh, so we can bring duplicates to this planet and then we can, you know, harvest this planet's resources to support our original planet. Our original planet, in the case of the DLC, is very, very, very low on water and renewable food. Um, so in theory, you come to this planet, harvest renewable food, and then use a teleporter or a rocket ship to transport the material back. As for the rocket ship itself... Uh, can I get rid of that, please? And if we have a new rocket, we can get uh, a nose cone and a sugar engine and uh, how do I fill up the sugar engine? I think I need... What do you require? You require sucrose. Uh, yes, I definitely know my way around the, uh, 300 degrees, paint, uh, there we go, somebody load the rocket please, uh, yeah, I know my way around the debug menu, I've spent many, many time in, much, much time in Oxygen Included, building temporary interesting builds to get things done in Oxygen Included. Uh, we can call in a duplicate, change crew, uh, Nails can come jump in here. Uh, Nails is going to have nowhere to pee, no supplies, no nothing, but that should be perfectly fine, right? Uh, we need to, no, I don't want that button, I want to exit view, how do I exit the view? Uh, ah, there we go. Uh, are you going to get in, dude? Nails, you meant to get in the rocket. Uh, nope, that didn't work. I Maybe I still need a ladder for him to get in. Orders, Nails actually need some skills. Skills, 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 skills. Uh, nails, rocket pilot tree. There you go. Hey, be imbued with the power of rocketry. And now get your butt over here. Uh, no. You can't climb up there. Okay. Does that help? View interior. Uh, how do I get nails to come in here? Like I said, I... It used to just work. There we go. Hey, nails, 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 nails. Change. No. Change crew. Nails. Yes. Morning. No, no, no. Move over here. And we'll go back to this view. And then we'll click launch. No. No. Nows is refusing to launch. Launch checklist incomplete. Why? What else do we need? Destination selected. Ah. 
Uh, we'll go to. Oh. Okay, turns out I can't actually launch him. Alright, so there is. Oh no, we can. We can. Uh, new destination. That destination. Cool. Nails, get in the rocket. In there. And launch checklist incomplete. Insufficient fuel. You've got fuel. Do you need more fuel? Obviously, it needs more fuel. Uh, we need small oxidizer tank built. All right, everything will slide up, uh, and we're gonna delete Nails' his way down. Uh, you want oxalite? We will give you some oxalite. Yeah, this is obviously highly prepped. Uh, highly prepped, and I made sure I plan pre-planned everything here. Uh, dig those. No nails, nails, bad nails. Okay, you gonna launch yourself now? Oh yeah. Okay, launch checklist. Remove that. Incomplete. Missing qualified crew. Well, nails is meant to move his butt inside. Does that give us a qualified crew? Hey! Launch! There we go. We got there in the end. Uh, so yeah, we're going to run a rocket definitely based off lifesavers. And it's going to go out to space. And then once in space, we can do things with said rocket. Like, you know, uh, change to there. And have it, you know, fly from one planet to the next. Uh, you know, there's no guarantee that once it gets to the next planet, I have any way of landing it. But yeah, this is one of the changes of Oxygen Included. Um, well, Oxygen Included, the DLC. You rather than having one large colony and hoping that, that one large colony can self-sustain itself, you now have multiple small colonies, colonies um, including colonies that have radioactive material that lets you do better and better science, but also has the small ability to irradiate your duplicates. Yes. Uh, unpause. Speed number three. Uh, so yeah, there are now multiple planets you'll need to take care of. No, we did that one. Uh, we go out to planetary view and look at this one. This one is just full of... Can I get all that? No, I can't. It's debug window. This one is just full of ice. Much, much ice. And iron volcanoes. For something entirely different. Uh, there's a duplicate. Uh, a duplicate is peeing themselves and suffocating. Uh, we have this planet that is completely full of lava. Lava and niobium. Which is actually a really, really rare resource. You had to go to space... Previously to get, now you can fly to another planet, which is not technically space, and get it from there. Uh, we also have a planet full of, well, tungsten volcanoes and slime. Along with some slimy creatures. Ew. Uh, Nails is currently suff suffocating in his rocket ship because I didn't bring oxygen with him. There you go, dude. You got some oxygen. Uh, and somebody was definitely peeing on the floor. So, yeah. This is the Oxygen Included uh, Spaced Out spaced out DLC, which should be releasing, as I said, tomorrow. This I'm not technically recommending. I am definitely recommending Oxygen Included, the base game. The DLC, I don't know. Come back to me in a couple of days and we'll, we'll, we'll see how I feel about it um, after it's been released. Currently, the... Alpha has been extremely buggy. This is why I haven't played it either on stream or on or, or, or any videos on YouTube. Because it crashes a lot. In fact, it just crashed right now. So, with that said, this is the third game I'm actually recommending in JD's 12 Games of Christmas. I do hope you've enjoyed this quick little summary. And as I said, if you do, are planning on grabbing a copy of it, there is a link down in the description to grab it off the Epic Store. It is an affiliate link. It does help out the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. do hope you've enjoyed. And I do hope to see you guys for JD's fourth game of Christmas, which should be out hopefully tomorrow. Anyway, all that said, thank you guys guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.